feet, on your feet. Man, man, bring you in. Quick, 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 quick. quick. Aggies, you already know what we're gonna do. We're gonna circle up and we're gonna get tough man drill, okay? We'll do that for a little bit. We're gonna do this for like 15, 20 minutes. After that, we're jumping to some individuals where the line works with the line and then the backs will do the, the route tree and that stuff like that. And after that, we'll break into some uh, some team stuff. You got me? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, everybody, everybody work hard today, okay, guys? Let's go. Let's go Bring let's it go. in. Let's go. Found me on three. One, two, three, family. Get some water, get some guys. Water. Also. I don't have a kid on the team, so, you know, I come out you know, strictly for the love of the game to help these boys get better. And, um, you know, I've been with the team for going on five years now. So I've had a lot of them since that beginning. And I, I really like, I really enjoy watching them grow and, you know, becoming young men already. You see it, you see it in their eyes. They know, you know, get that understanding of football. When they were little kids, they would just come out here and it was the funniest thing because they would just run around. And now they're actually understanding the, the nature of the game and the nature of, what this beast really is when you play together. Stand up, Caleb. Stand up, Caleb. Work out, Caleb. Work out. Go, let's go, let's go. Good work, Tio. Go, 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 go work, Tio. Go, 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 go work, Tio. Pumble. Go work. Go someone win. Go work. Nice. Give me a big lineman. Let's go, Nico. Let's go. Down. Set. Explode. Move the side, Sam. Move the side, Sam. There you go. There you go. Me and my team mom, we get together about May and we'll start fundraising ideas, see what company we're going to go with for our ordering and stuff like that. So from May until January, this is our whole life. Like we're out here practicing three to four times a week. We have a game every week starting in September and it goes through the holidays. So, I mean, time-wise, this takes up a lot of time. To be a mom watching your child play, I mean, it's an awesome feeling. Like, you get so much pride and excitement from seeing them and watching them develop over the years. And their knowledge of football is just, it's insane. What did you do wrong? Stood up. Stood straight up. You don't to stand up against a guy like that, okay? He's going to put his hammer right there and drag you back. Both you. Set. Like that. Yeah, I'll take that. Stay in there. You guys stay in there. Switch out the lineman. Down. Set. Hit. Nice. There we go. There you go. Okay. Hey. Hey. Who's that? One guy got in between three of you guys. One guy got in between okay. the three of you guys. Once you, get that, once you get that edge, start looking inside, okay? Green right, 47 tops. Green right, 47 tops. I'm on, ready? Hey, we got that delayed motion. Forty-seven. Wing. Wing, Fabian. Regular, regular, regular. Go, sure. Go, sure. Your snaps are good doing the shotgun, okay? Put a little bit of pepper on it, okay? Just a little bit more. Let's go. Let's go. 22 gun, 93s. 22 gun, 93s. On one. Ready? Let's go both times. Down. What? Slow. Set. What? Three up, three up, three up, three up. Guys. These boys have been playing together for a long time. I, I, I don't expect anything less than them. And they don't expect anything less of themselves, I know. So get ready. Our boys come to hit. They know that. Every team that we've ever played knows that our boys come to hit. They're going to bring it every single play. Be ready. And we're coming for you. Where did this guy drive? Ronky, where'd you...
Oh, we went over there. I'm trying to remember, I went in the sand. Our illustrious leader uh, wanted to come out and just uh, kind of bring us together. It, it's good for us to kind of create that relationship and that bond together too, just like our boys. And since he plays golf all the time, he decided, you know, we'd play out here and loser buys lunch. So he figured it'd be a free lunch for him. <laughs> it is easy. No pressure here, I guess. Do what you do, shut up. <laughs> the cameras don't bother me. You could do this professionally, watch. Maybe not. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you, Leo. I was afraid to hit his ball. <laughs> oh, now he's got pressure. I'm really excited about how our season's going to be. I think we've got a lot of athleticism on defense. Um, historically, with the teams that I've, I've been a part of, we have very good defenses as it is. Um, but this year, I think we've got another element to where we have some really good athletes. We have a lot of speed um, and we've got size, something that none of the teams I've been a part of really had in the past. Um, so we're really excited about that. I think, you know, there's still work to be done, of course, just like with any team. Um, we're, we're a little too aggressive. We need to become a little bit more patient. Um, our aggressiveness gets us into some uh, predicaments that we saw this past weekend with over pursuing, uh, things like that. But I'm really excited to where, where these boys are going to be this year. That'll there you work. go. Good shot, Leo. That's, a bloop. That's still a blooper though, guys, because you're usually in the desert. <laughs> Good shot, Leo. We went to El Paso and had the, the scrimmage. We had we played against two El Paso teams and uh, the first game was okay. They were a little dirty team, but it was good for our kids to see that, that they're going to be going up against teams like that sometimes. Um, that team had a pretty big boy. He was well over 300 pounds and uh, they handled them pretty good. And we ended up winning that scrimmage. Then we went, as soon as we're done with that game, we went to another game, played the Bandits. And that's the team from El Paso that wins the city leagues. You know, they've been winning like five years in a row. and. You could tell the chemistry of that team was good. They uh, they gelled really good. You could tell they've been playing since they were smaller up. And uh, but we hung in there with them. I was proud of the boys the way they came out and they played. You know, and it's hard to ask kids to play back to back like that. You know, and they did pretty damn good. And I'm proud of them. And looking forward to the season, seeing what we're gonna end up doing this year. Ah, damn it! <laughs> How many did you win? <laughs> <laughs> the Not guy many. on the lawnmower is going to feel yeah. find that one right there. Right. He's going to boom. Lay it up. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting four here? Yeah, you're putting four. Okay. You missed it? Yeah. Oh. So what are we, tied? Tied. The attention span's a big thing. It's you could you could it's very it's very hard to lose a kid if you get on him for whatever reason if he misses a block a tackle a catch or whatever if you're not properly trained to handle that situation and you end up yelling at the kid or scolding them they shut down on you back when I played or the other coaches played that was growing up your coaches were always on your butt about different stuff and just you just you just deal with it it's not like it's not the case no more those days are over they're way gone you know that's one thing is just you don't want to lose a kid like that like it's very easy to lose kids for just scolding them so you got to be positive about everything even if they do miss a block or a tackle you just got to be positive about it it's been two years since uh, sam's dad robert passed away um, he was in a car accident on his way to work on monday morning i went to work and uh, my mother-in-law ended up coming to my work to come get me because they had found out about nine that um, he was involved in a rollover accident. He, you know, he, he, he never had a bad day. He was always happy. He was always, you know, loving to come out and work with the kids. You know, uh, we miss him. You know, I miss him all the time. You know, I didn't hang out with him for about a week before he passed away. So, you know, I, he's a great guy, you know, and I really miss him. And, you know, with his boys, you know, we told him that we'd always take care of his kids. And, you know, that's, that's what we try to do every day is take care of his boys. Okay. Stay in your lanes. The only people that are allowed to go wherever the ball is, is Dylan and Connor. As soon as that ball's kicked, they're flying to the ball. Everybody else, stay in your lanes. You know Fabian's going to get the ball and he's going to run everywhere. You've got to stay in your lanes and look for cutbacks, all right? Hey, Fabian. Do this! Oh, you have to go back! Go, 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 go,
Work, work. It, it's hard. Um, every day is a growing, you know, they're growing from it. Football was his idea. So their first year, you know, we signed him up and he actually helped Java start coaching the boys and um, they started to enjoy the game a lot and we became really close with them and so it's something that we continue to do every year. We just kind of incorporate him still with everyday life. Sprint and stay in your lane. Let's go. Sprint and stay in your lane. He he does he has his moments, you know, as as most anybody would. Um, I lost my dad when I was young too, just like he he did, you know. And uh, you know he'll have his moments, you know, where he'll you know of course you're gonna miss your dad, and you know that's where me and the other coaches, you know, we're best friends with his dad, and that's where we try to step in and you know fill fill his shoes as best we can. We, we can't do a great it's a great job of it, but we try. And uh, you know, as far as him out here on the football field, we don't have to worry about that. He he comes out and he gives 110 percent every time that he's out there, every snap on the field, and he'll he'll he's he'll be good. Oh, you got this. You got this. You got this. Hey, Brandon! Brandon! Catch it! Stay where you're Go fast as you can, bro. Get that ball. Get to the ball and break down. It's this dead sprint. This is our conditioning. Here we go. On coach. Here we go, coach. You too, I need you going too, okay? Yeah. Once you hear the thud, hey, and listen, after you kick it, you gotta yell middle, middle, left, right, whatever, okay? Because these guys are gonna be looking up in the air, I don't want them getting laid out. Let's go, one more time, let's go, run it. Keep your head down, kick the shit out of it. But after you kick it, you still gotta cover. After you yell, hey, it's going to the right, to the left, or whatever, you still gotta cover, because if he cuts back, you got, you're the only one that's gonna make the tackle. All of a sudden, you go from, punt, from punter to safety, quick. All right? Here we go. One step and kick it. You got it. You still got it. There you go. Right. No. right, right, right. Go, go, go that way. Go that way. Let's go. You too, Jill. Uh-oh. 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 Uh, get him, Jill. <laughs> damn, dude. God damn. Son of a God. <laughs> uh, dude. That guy's so damn strong, bro. Gio. Hey. Hey, that's like a Madden stiff arm, dude. What happened was our star running back, who we, we use a lot of, he took it to the house. He's, he's a, a, man, a man amongst boys, as I like to say. That boy, he's something else, man. He's, he's, uh, you're going to be seeing that guy on Saturdays and possibly on Sundays playing like in the, in the NFL. He's that gifted. He's very humble. He works hard, and he doesn't, he's always... He doesn't brag about how good he is. He's just he's just a hard working kid and that's a coach's dream is to have a kid like that because that just makes everything fall into place. You know, obviously you could tell what happened today when we were scrimmaging this team, they quit early because of that. And he only ran the ball once. Imagine we gave it to him a lot more. He's one of those kind of players. He's just a he's a game changer. That's Fabian Fabian Gutierrez. That's one kid that you you hear remember the name. You're gonna be seeing a lot of that kid in the in, in high school. And then possibly college and possibly the NFL, you'll be seeing that guy, that guy a lot. Fabian Gutierrez is his name. The team that we were scrimmaging um, got a little beat up a little bit. Um, they, they, they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with us. Um, nothing against them. They gave us some good looks. Um, but, you know, after a couple series, they kind of want to just take their team back and maybe work a little bit more, which is fine. Um, you know, we've been putting in the work since June. Um, I think we've got put in the most time of, of any team here in, in the city, and it showed. Um, so that's why we're, we're kind of cutting it a little bit short, but we still, after that was done, we still made sure we got in some practice, worked on some stuff that we needed to work on, and overall the boys did a good job. Even though it was a short scrimmage, we saw some stuff that we need to work on, all right? Our discipline, we had a lot of offside jumps that we didn't need, all right? That's easy yards for the other team. So we got stuff, even though this was a quick scrimmage and it wasn't what we wanted to see, all right? We still got some stuff to take away from it, all right? Hey, look around. There's a couple people missing from our team, and they're not here, why? because of grades, because of their behavior, all right? Remember guys, we have a different standard. Our bar is set high, all right? You guys need to meet, that, meet those standards. That's your number one job. Your job is to take care of your home, take care of your grades, and then you come out here and you take care of football, all right? You have guys here, you have starters. You have a starter that's not playing right now because he's already getting bad grades, all right? 
that's your number one priority is home and school. Remember, our level's up here, all right? And we want all you guys to meet it. So you guys bust your butt. As, as hard as you guys work out here in practice, as hard as you guys work during games and scrimmages, do that same level of intensity in the classroom and at home. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Remember a couple weeks ago when I told you let's take care of the small things, yeah. then the big things take care of themselves? Mm -hmm. All right, LeBrown, looks like you're gonna be our long snapper, okay? Work on it, work on it at home, in your room, okay? It's little things that will cost us a game, okay? And to reiterate what coach said, take care of school, take care of those grades. Put a big old star on September 11th. That's our first game, September 11th, 5.30. Big dogs. Like, That's who we concentrate on now. And listen, it count, it's for real now. And it's Let's for real. Make their asses quit. Let's make them quit for real. Let's go. Nice and loud. Aggies on three! One, two, three, Aggies! Pick up Good the job, cones. Oh, Good, job, Good, job, Good, job, Good job, Good job, Good job, big deal. Good job, Sam. You didn't have nightmares with that. I hit you solid, too. I know. Let's go, let's go! It does feel good to hit somebody else in real life, right? We fight, we fight, we fight, we fight! Aggies on three! One, two, three, Aggies! Let's go! go.